this week's portion, Amor, begins with a list of strict behaviors that the Kohanim, the priests in the Israelite community, need to follow in order to work as Kohanim. Restrictions on who they can marry, how they are to behave, and even uh, what kind of physical condition they must be in in order to work in the Mishkan, the portable sanctuary, and later in the temple in Jerusalem. The question is a broader question as to why we need we, the Jewish community, needs restrictions or standards for how to behave as Jews. Can't we just act spontaneously and pray and worship and observe when the mood strikes? This gets to the question that the rabbis had centuries ago. What is more important, keva or kavana? What is more important, the strict habit, the keva, or the intention, the mood that we are in, the kavana, that will lead to pure thought and pure religious practice. The rabbis come down on the side of keva, on the side of strict habit and standards, because they know as practical human beings that they were, that if we waited until everybody prayed when the mood struck them, then there would be infrequent times of prayer and infrequent times of observance. Because frankly, how many of us uh, feel the mood all the time? If we know that there is a certain habit, if there is a routine that we need to follow, if there are standards of practice, the thought for the rabbis is that that routine will lead us to feel in the mood to, do, to pray and to observe as Jews. Same, too, from our Torah reading. The rabbi, the God must have known that the Kohanim needed this structure in their life as well because it's very hard to wait until the mood strikes. And so uh, our lesson for this Shabbat is don't get turned off by the ritual or routine of Judaism. See it as a means to inspire uh, the proper kind of kavanah to feel all the time. Shabbat Shalom.